Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I'll share a way to streamline the spotlight technique to make two cards at once. You'll need three identical paper panels and a larger stamp that can be colored in. I'm using cold press watercolor paper here, and I've got a brand new stamp set from Impression Obsession. I'm gonna stamp that large image in the same place on all three of my paper panels. Make sure that you choose an ink that is compatible with your coloring medium. I'm going to watercolor my cards so this VersaFine ink is perfect. So I have my three identical panels. I'm going to take the first one and trim down the edges evenly and that will allow it to still center on the next panel with a border around the edge, whatever width you decide. I'm cutting a quarter of an inch from each side of mine, but you can cut less if you want. Just make sure that you cut the same distance from each side. Next, I have a piece of adhesive craft foam. This one just has adhesive on one side. I've already cut it just a little bit smaller than my trimmed panel, so it's got about an eighth of an inch border around it, and I'm going to use the sticky side to adhere it to the back of my trimmed panel. The next step is to choose a die cut shape. This one here is from a slimline layering set, so it's a nice long rectangle. Decide where you want it to be placed on your image and that is the portion of the image you're also going to color. So that may help in deciding where you want it to be placed. Tape the die in place and run it through the die cutting machine. And it should cut through both layers with no problem. If not, you should have enough of an indent in the foam to help you reposition your die to cut again. So now you have your die cut piece and a piece with a cutout opening, both backed with foam. You'll do your coloring next. I'm using Kareen markers and a wet brush to color my die cut panel. And then I'll use those same markers in a different color palette to color one of the other uncut panels. On the second panel, you don't need to color the entire image. You can use the cut piece to give you an idea of what you'll be able to see of the image through the cut window. And then color just a little bit outside of that area as well. For the first card panel, you're going to glue the foam panel with the cut window to a colored full panel. I'm using Barely Art Glue here, and I find that a liquid glue works well for adhering the foam to cardstock. Just make sure that you run glue around the edge of the foam and also around the edge of the opening so that it all lays nice and flat. Center your panel and line up the outlines of the stamped image so it's continuous on both layers. And then you can lay some kind of a flat weight over the top to help it dry nice and even. I have a large acrylic block here and that works nicely. For the second card, take the third stamped panel and glue on the colored die cut, lining it up with the image like we did before. You can finish up your cards however you like. I added some strip sentiments to these, matching the height of the cutout pieces with little scraps of foam under the strips to keep them all level. Here are a couple of variations in another card set. 
I've got my three identical card panels, but this time I'm using three sheets of patterned paper and I trimmed them all from the same corner of a six by six inch piece. Instead of coloring an image, I've got a large sentiment stamp and the rest of the process with these is the same, just no need for coloring. I trimmed the first panel down and backed it with foam. I made a cut with a heart die and then layered the cut and trimmed panel and the cut piece on the remaining panels for my two card fronts. I hope you picked up some tips for doubling up your spotlight cards. Thank you so much for watching.